x to the power of x plus 1 equals x. From where shall we start? Of course. Maybe I'm going to say, look, the left-hand side and the right-hand side have the same base. So x plus 1 should be equal to 1 and x is 0. Hmm, a good method, but you got it wrong. Why? I'm going to explain it to you now. Firstly, what I'm going to do is to subtract this x from the right-hand side from the both sides. So the left-hand side is going to be x to the power of x plus 1 minus x, and the right-hand side is 0. So now, what I'm going to do, look, this exponent, x plus 1, is a little bit complicated. So, I'm going to separate this x and 1. Okay, that means x to the power of x plus 1, it can be written as what? Don't worry, I have a formula for you. That is, a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m, then times a to the power of n. It can help you a lot. For example, for separating this x and 1 from the exponent. Very good. Then, according to this formula, x from the base should be equal to a, this x from the exponent should be m, and 1 is n. So it's going to be x to the power of x times x to the power of 1. x to the power of x times x to the power of 1. x to the power of 1 is just x. Don't care about it. Minus x equals 0. So now we can see here appears an x here as well. And these two sections are connected by a minus subtraction. So we can take out an x from the left side from these two parts. And it's going to be, I'm going to change a pen because this one doesn't work. It should be x times x to the power of x minus 1 is 0. Now, I can explain to you why this method is going to be wrong. That is, because the left-hand side and the right-hand side have the same base. They are both x. So x is just x to the power of 1, so x plus 1 should be 1, and x is 0. Why? Because then you will lose a solution. Please, please, please don't solve it that way. Always subtraction. Very good. So then, what I'm going to do, here we have two cases. If x is 0. Of course, it works. And we can check if it is right. Of course, if x is equal to 0, the left-hand side is 0 to the power of 0 plus 1 is 1, and the right-hand side is 0. 0 to the power of 1 is, of course, equal to 0, so it's correct. x equals 0 is one of the roots. The second one is that x to the power of x minus 1 should be, should be equal to 0. This case it is much more complicated. We're going to succeed very soon. So that is x to the power of x equals 1. Okay, now we have to solve this equation. x to the power of x equals 1. This kind of equations is very, very typical. x to the power of x equals 1. The right-hand side is 1, and the left-hand side is x to the power of x. It has the form a to the power of b. For some of the equation, a to the power of b equals 1. We have three cases. Actually, the first one, oh my god, it also doesn't work. Sorry, sorry about that. The first one, the second case, and the third case. The first one is, if the base a is equal to 1, this equation will be always true, because b is a real number. So if a is 1 and b is 
Just remember, this equation will hold. The second case is if a is negative 1. Then, b should be equal to 2 times n, where n is an integer. That means b should only be even. In another word, a is equal to negative 1, this equation will only hold if and only if b is even. Don't forget, a should not be equal to 0 and b is 0. Or you can write it this way, b is equal to 0, then a shouldn't be equal to 0. That means a is a real number, but it cannot be equal to 0. For example, 5 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. 8 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Negative 1 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. But 0 to the power of 0 doesn't make sense. 0 to the power of 0 doesn't make sense. Okay. Under these three conditions, this equation will have solutions. For first one, a is equal to 1. Of course, in this case, x is a and x is b. x from the base is a and x which on the exponent is b. In this case, a should be equal to 1, so x is 1. Then, b is only a real number, because x is also exponent, so exponent will be also 1. So it's also going to be 1. 1 to the power of 1 is equal to 1. Of course, this equation holds. For a second case, a is negative 1. That means x should be negative 1. Okay, x is negative 1 because x is also the exponent. However, negative 1 is not an even number. So, negative 1 to the power of negative 1 is equal to 1. No, it's not. Negative 1 to the power of negative 1 should be equal to negative 1, not 1. So, this equation doesn't hold. It is a false statement. Or we can write it in this way. It is not equal to 1. For a third case, x should be 0. In the third case, x should be equal to 0. However, we know x is the base. At the same time, it is also the exponent. So, it's going to be 0 to the power of 0. We know that 0 to the power of 0 doesn't make sense, so it's false. It's incorrect. That means we have two solutions, x equals 0 or x equals 1. Did you get it? Give a thumbs up for this wonderful method. Subscribe to me. We'll see you next time.